Hey, what's up functional bodybuilders? I'm gonna talk about the sumo deadlift today. I'm gonna give you a couple of the points that I like to think about and I think you should be cluing into when you're doing your sumo deadlifts. Number one, what is a sumo deadlift? A sumo deadlift, as I like to teach it, is any time that we're deadlifting with our feet wider than our hands. Typically in a sumo deadlift, we're gonna get those feet well outside of our shoulders. Sometimes we prescribe something called a football stance or a frog stance deadlift, which is basically the shoulder width and hands in between the bar. But a sumo is gonna be even wider than that. Why would you choose a sumo deadlift? For some people, this position is a lot more comfortable when they hinge forward because of how their body is shaped, their limb length. This gets them in a stronger and safer position to deadlift. When you go wide with your feet, you are able to adopt a more upright posture. That upright posture means perhaps more load, or excuse me, less load on the spine, which for people that find the deadlift traditionally to flare up their back, this might be a great choice. Now, the position of my legs, what is it actually accentuating in the lift? With the wider stance and the more upright posture, what I'm not getting is I'm not getting as much hinge. Hinge at the hip is what stretches the glutes and the hamstrings, and when those stretch, they get more tension, they get more work. So what that means is in a wider stance, I'm actually getting less hamstring and glutes when I'm down here and pulling up than if I were in this position, stretching them even more. That's not to say that they're not gonna work, but they're working at a slightly different angle. What's getting stretched more? It is the adductors. It's this inner hamstring muscle right here that is getting a deep stretch as I move into this position. And you should be feeling a stretch all along the adductor as you set up for your sumo deadlift. When you lift, that muscle is gonna contract and help drive you up pull the bar up off the ground as you drive force into the floor. So the sumo deadlift, big on the adductors, can be a safer position for certain people. And the most obvious thing that we have to discuss is range of motion. When I have a wide stance, I don't have to pull the bar as far as if I'm standing with a narrow stance going all the way down to the floor. So a sumo deadlift may change your leverage but it's also shortening the, the bar path and the range of motion, which could yield heavier weights and a different lower body experience. There is not one way to deadlift that is better than another. You find what works for you. And if you can do and tolerate both, then I encourage you to explore both and build a very well-rounded lower body that's resilient. That's how we hinge. Catch me next time.